God damn it, I had some thoughts. Fuck my thoughts. Uh, so we're going to go to Mucho Taco instead of uh, in and out but we were passing by this place that's called Angry Crab, mm -hmm. Angry Crab. And uh, it's funny, it's a it's a dump. It is gross, uh, it's super dirty. And you know, of course it's just, it's seafood, but you know, everything's frozen. And we went there one time and we got, it was fucking $100. And um, uh, this one of my clients was like, you don't like Angry Crab? I was like, I, I'm like, it's a, it's a dump, it's a dive, it's gross. And uh, what he doesn't realize, and what a lot of people don't realize, is that there's just not any other place to cater to that craving. And so people will flock to it, and most people just hate themselves, and uh, they, wa they want other people to uh, commiserate with, to hate themselves. So we, we were talking about how I watched this, um, this, it was like a little TikTok video about 50 Cent was confessing on this radio program about how he like hadn't smoked or drank in like five years and everybody else was like what are you talking about you were, I saw you at this party blah 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 he's like I was drinking ginger ale and then they're like what you smoked weed with Snoop Dogg and then he's like I didn't inhale so um and it's and it's funny because uh in order to be in those kinds of circles in order to be kind of cool um People want you to partake in their vice, in their weakness, in their, uh, the thing that, that they define themselves as. So, but getting back to the angry crab, people don't have any other options. And that's one of the reasons why Jacob has been successful. A lot of it has been luck in the marketplace in that he's been the only one to do what he's been doing. Uh, location 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 his location in the marketplace is what helped him do that and now now if he uh again he's he's not the greatest businessman um uh, especially if he's he's selling a, a money maker like sundown but uh i just want to show you guys that these guys of industry it's not everything what you think it is and and, and <laughs> I wanted to finish my thoughts on the cool guy pyramid, the, the, the Ponzi scheme that is being cool. Um, so the top guy is like mean to a little guy like Scott Dildo. And then Scott Dildo is like, yeah. And he's like the little sidekick, yeah. Uh, like Scrappy Doo. And, uh, and then Scrappy Doo goes out and kicks ass. And he, he doesn't kick much ass, but he kicks a little ass. And then, uh, you know, little Scott Dildo comes back. He's like, did I do good, boss? And he's like, yeah, you did good. And uh, that's what I was talking about, about uh, Jacob doesn't have to stoop to the my level, right? To some nobody hack builder that works out of a shitty garage. He doesn't have to do that. He can just sick his little weirdos on me. And who all, all the, the worst thing they can do is call me a pedophile. And it's funny, I saw Dave Lieb, he's like, he changed his tone. Uh, uh, this is David Lieb of uh, Magic Box, and also he, he's the one of the builders for uh, Sundown. But he changed his tone. He doesn't say that I'm a pedophile anymore. He says, uh, I support pedophilia and, and that's enough. And I was like, what, whatever, you fucking douchebag coward. You can't even call me a pedophile. What's wrong with you? So, uh, but uh, again, a lot of this stuff is uh, luck. A lot of the reasons why I'm a success is luck. It just happens to be about preparation, being at the right place at the right time, and then executing and being able to execute uh, in a timely manner. That's it. But, but the good news is that you can too. But Again, I finished the, fuck, I can't finish that fucking thought, the Ponzi scheme. So basically, Scott Dildo goes out and hustles a bunch of people and is mean to them and does the same thing that uh, uh, he was doing for um, uh, Jacob Fuller. So he finds other people that want to be like cool and have a system and all that kind of stuff. And then they, you know, act cool and all that kind of stuff and they get to vape. And, and uh, it was funny because... Um, it was Scott Dildo that uh, tagged me on Instagram about Jacob's uh, video. And uh, he commented, he's like, I think he's talking about Patrick. And I was like, probably is. I don't, I don't know for sure because Jacob is a coward. Uh, if, he, if he really wanted to say what he was saying, he would just say it. So, uh, and it, uh, believe me, it's, it's, it, no, matter, no matter what he calls me, it's not going to be slander, right? Because I don't have a job, right? I, it's not going to stop me from getting jobs. Uh, and, and what I, what I do think is funny though, is when 
Uh, these guys, of course, these are all unsubstantiated claims. The only thing I've said is, uh, you know, 14 year olds are adults in other parts of the world. I didn't say anything about my preference or anything like that, but I, I, I like to say things to get their goat and to make them go, ooh, like little fucking crybabies. Uh, like that dumb little dumb douche in Peoria, like called the cops on me. It says right here in a text that you had sex with a 13 year old. Yeah, I did when I was 14. You're an idiot. Uh, go fuck yourself. And then the cop turned on me and I was like, oh, fuck you, cop. Uh, so anyways, I just want to finish that thought. I love you guys. I'm going to go have some of the best Mexican food in the East Valley. It's called Mucho Taco. Um, the original guys used to work at El Sol and then stole their recipes and then was like, fuck you, because it's owned by like these uppity uh, Mormon Mexicans um, that, you know, again, Mormons, ugh, they just think they're doing God's work by getting rich and, uh, you know, turning children into sex slaves. Uh, so anyways, they, they took all the recipes and then they went over here and started their own thing and they got some guy to back them. And then that guy was like, squeezed them out. And uh, but but they, and then he went to another place called Saguaro something over there on uh, Guadalupe and Country Club. And then that thing went belly up. And it's not opening? No, they got a really bad review from uh, the health department. Oh. It was like on the news. And, uh, I don't, you know, you don't have enough investment, you're probably going to fail. So, like, when uh, Resilient Sounds liquidated all those uh, team, what was it? Was it the team? It was the Platinum, whatever. It was the, it was the top-end subwoofer. And then uh, dipshit uh, JP came in and bought them all and then doubled the price and, and then sold them all back to you guys. It's hilarious. Um, but, yeah, that Resilient Sounds sub when you're importing like a hundred of them, it shouldn't cost more than it shouldn't. Sh they should be selling for about six fifty. Just so you guys know, I'm not going to sell them for six fifty. I'm going to sell them for nine fifty, which is still half price. So, but right. anyways, I love you guys. We're at Mucho Taco. Go there. It's fucking awesome. Love you. Bye.